Apple just released the iOS 16 developer beta and I must say it's really something. But if you're not happy with the bugs it came with, there's a pretty simple procedure of downgrading your iPhone from iOS 16 to iOS 15. But there are a few things to keep in mind before you get started. First, you will be needing a Mac or a Windows PC to downgrade your iPhone from iOS 16 developer beta to iOS 15. Second, make sure you are in a stable and fast internet connection to download required files. Third, you cannot restore iOS 16 backup on an iOS 15 device, which is why make sure you manually backup any important file before you get started with this procedure. If you have archived backup of iOS 15, you can restore your phone data before you installed iOS 16 beta. If you do not have any iOS 15 backups, you will have to set up your iPhone as new whenever you will be downgrading to iOS 15. Now let's start the process, shall we? Firstly, open the link in description on your Mac or Windows PC and download the IPSW file for your device. The iPhone software file will be around 5.5 GB which is exactly why I asked you to be in a stable and fast internet connection. When downloaded, open iPhone settings, tap on Apple ID banner, find my, find my iPhone and toggle off find my iPhone. Enter the device passcode if any and tap turn off. Now using an appropriate cable, connect your iOS 16 iPhone to Mac or Windows PC, open finder on Mac and on the left sidebar, click on your iPhone under locations. On Windows PC, open iTunes and click on tiny iPhone icon. Now put your iPhone into recovery mode by pressing volume up, volume down and long pressing sleep or wake button. Leave it only after you see the recovery mode screen that is a cable pointing towards the laptop. Finder or iTunes will let you know that it has detected a device in recovery mode. On Mac, press and hold the option key. On Windows, press and hold the shift key. While you're pressing the key, click on restore iPhone. Find the iPhone software file you downloaded in step 1 in the new window. Click to select it and then click on open. Now let computer do its thing. Once the process is complete, your iPhone will restart. You will see the setup screen on your iPhone running iOS 15. You can choose to restore from a previous backup if available or choose the one of the other options. See, that's how easy it is to downgrade your device from iOS 16 beta to iOS 15. Do let me know what do you think about these steps and let us know in the comments if you need any help. If this video has helped you out in any way then make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button and the bell icon as well. And make sure you download the iGeeks blog app from the app store if you'd like to stay updated with everything Apple. My name is Yersh and I'll see you in the next one.